It's still that Friday song. Why don't they bring it? No, I don't like this song. This song is terrible. This song is very terrible. I don't like this song at all. Stress out with a lot of schoolwork? You can earn a lot. You can earn movie day entries with just reading a book. Stay tuned to find out. You know how some people say no one's perfect? Well, I have an almost perfect game to report on for you. Afraid of lunch? Well, you don't want to hear what this guy has to do. More details on the way. Mm -hmm. Weather, weather, weather. Can you get any hotter? Are you in? Are you in Astro Camp and didn't bring your money? Well, you're in big trouble. All of this and much more on the other side of the brick. Blood. I hate blood. Hmm. How much would you be willing to sacrifice to protect this guy? Young Sophie was not only willing to give up her comfortable U.S. home with her dad, she was also ready to sacrifice her life and remain in the dangerous Congo jungle in order to protect her rescued bonobo ape named Otto in Endangered. Hi, my name is Elliot Schrafer and I wrote the novel Endangered. Endangered is the story of Sophie, a girl living in Congo. Her mom runs a sanctuary for endangered bonobo apes. And one day, Sophie finds an endangered bonobo by the side of the road and winds up adopting him. But when war strikes, Sophie's mother is on the other side of Congo, and Sophie has to make it across a country at war, finding enough food and water to keep herself and Otto, the orphan, alive. When I first came to the topic of the bonobos, I really just fell in love with their society. They are organized around the female bonobos. They are in charge. The bonobos are really peace-loving and sweet animals. So I was really fascinated by looking into what it means to be a person through looking at what it means to be a bonobo. The first day I arrived at the sanctuary, the first thing I heard was the calls of the bonobos. And they're really high-pitched, much more high-pitched than chimpanzees. And that morning I got to enter the nursery and actually interact with these orphans was really life-changing for me. One bonobo would get to the top of my head and then try to swat away the other bonobos that were trying to climb up me, and then someone would get him off, and then another one would try to climb up and, and get to the same position. Here's why I think you'll love Endangered. It's an action-adventure story. It's about making it across a country at war. It's about surviving inside a culture of apes when you're a person. But at the same time, it's a really intimate story about a girl trying to keep this adorable young orphan ape alive. And I think you'll also learn a lot about bonobos who, if you're like me, you'll fall in love with them and the, the kind spirit that they have. Look for this gripping tale of real life adventure at your Scholastic Book Fair. Endangered by... Welcome back in National News. Astro Cramp is a week away and all payments are due to Mrs. Tomas. Please see Ms. Tomas in room 401 to turn in your money or if you have any questions. CGSF is sponsoring the annual UNICEF drive, so please bring your spare change for dollars to your home room UNICEF box. The home room that brings the most money in the most money will earn 20 po extra points at a tree. UNICEF does a lot for people around the world, so please bring your spare change. Eighth graders, those who are interested in going to the DC trip this year, hurry up and get in $99 to hold your spot. The deadline is almost here. You don't want to miss out on this opportunity. If you have any questions about the trip or signing up, stop by Ms. Corkin's room in room 203. The principal's challenge is here. The book you must read is The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. When you take the AR quiz and get an 8 to 5 percent higher, you will be rewarded with a movie day and treat. Stop by the library and get one today. Time now to cross the globe with Dylan. Good morning, Dylan. Good morning, Johnny. Do sharks seem scary to you? Defin do oh, do sharks seem scary to you? They definitely are not for they definitely are not for Andre Hartman, who has found a way to seduce sharks into a into a trance. Andre discovered his talent one day when he was about to dive and a curious great white shark tried to bite their boats off, boat motors off. He reached and pushed the shark by the tip of his snout and to his surprise, the shark appeared to fall into a trance. Experts have con concluded 
that the part Andre is hitting is an ultra-sensitive part of the shark's snout, and touching it overloads the shark with information. Since then, Andre has starred in several documentaries and is the only known person alive who knows how to put sharks into this mysterious trance. That wraps up the news around the world. Time to go back to test off for upcoming events. Thank you, Dylan. Looking at the test off calendar, today is minimum day and college day. That wraps up our ongoing event. Time now for your live and five forecast. Good morning, Ted's off. It looks like the warmer weather is starting to cool down all the way down to the west. We can see that they, to the south, I'm sorry, are 80s all the way. And same here, and then the west is cooling down with 60s to 70s. We see Washington with 55. That wraps up here. Let's go to our five day forecast. Today looks like it's going to be 76. 76, and tomorrow's going to be 82, and that will carry on all the way till next week with 86 89s. Thank you, Kyla. For this week's web poll, we have Darian with us. Good morning, Darian. Good morning. Will you please read this week's web poll? Um, should Tesla, should Tesla, should Tesla replace textbooks with iPads? Here's what you told us, Tro here's what you said, Trojans. No, because I had to do, no, I have nothing to do anyway. Another of you said no, because I have to practice after school. Here are the results for the past week's web poll. 36% of you said yes, and 41% of you said no. And 23% of you just didn't care. Our new question is, should Tesla replace textbooks with iPads? We want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us online at Live and Fire Show. Show our Facebook page to vote. Send your comments to webpool at live and fire show .com, And if it's good, we'll read it on air. So, Darian, what do you think? Um, I think we should because it'll be easier to like find stuff. You want to give a shout out to anyone? Yeah. Tamar, Tanya, Anna, Michelle, and the Allisons. Uh, now let's go to Marion with the sports. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jefferson. Well, it seems like Brooklyn beat in New York City, and um, the spread. And no, Brooklyn was supposed to play New York City yesterday, but they, it, the game has been postponed. The Spurs beat OKC 86 to 84 was when the Spurs player Tony Parker pulled off a last-minute shot. And you know how I said somebody cannot, cannot be perfect? Well, Philip Rivers almost accomplished that last night. He was 18 for 20 of his passes when they beat Kansas City 31 to 13. That's all for today, Trojans. Now to Johnny. Thank you, Marion. Okay, time for our today's Daily 411. What was the first word spoken in, spoken in the moon? Okay, one, we are YOLO. Take five. Guys, it's YOLO, okay? Okay, what's the first word ever spoken on the moon? Okay. Contact, okay. Wow. Yeah, contact, sorry. Yeah. Shouts. Okay. I'd, I'd like to give a shout out to Jared, who's my twin. What's up? <laughs> I'd like to give a shout out to Kayla Thomas, Third Period, Miss Kaiser, and Slenderman. What? I think we should wrap it up. Visit our website. Visit our website to watch today's broadcast online at live5show.com. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on Live 5 Show. Live 5 Show. That's all for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Time is going, ticking on and on. Everybody's rushing. Gotta get down to the bus stop. Gotta catch my bus.